Reporting from Arkham Asylum, this is Mr. Rogues. In this video we spotlight forgotten supervillain, the Mad Gorilla Boss. Throughout the decades, countless vile knaves have reared their ugly mugs to pester our beloved superheroes. Some of these dastardly rogues have gone out to stand among the most infamous fictional villains in pop culture history, while others have completely vanished into obscurity. In this episode of Forgotten Supervillains, we spotlight the Mad Gorilla Boss. The Mad Gorilla Boss, real name unknown, made his first and only appearance in Strange Adventures 201, published in 1967. An Animal Man story, he was simply titled The Mad Gorilla Boss and was penciled by Jack Sparling, while the actual writer is unknown. In it, Animal Man faced a new menace to his fair city, a gorilla gang boss. This bizarre crook leads his gang in a crime wave in the city, eventually clashing with the hero. However, A-Man is no match to the gorilla's brute force and finds himself defeated after each encounter. The gorilla has a habit of abruptly aborting their fights though, and then swiftly fleeing the scene. Later, while captured in the villain's lair, Animal Man discovered his absurd criminal secrets. He's not an actual gorilla, but in fact a human. The gangster somehow managed to create a formula which transforms him into a gorilla, while keeping his human intellect. The formula only lasts for a limited time though, then beginning to wear off, thus explaining the mod boss's sudden departures during capers. In the end, this hairy rogue was captured by Animal Man and sent to prison. And that's the last we ever saw of him. We have never seen him outside comics either. So what is up with DC Comics and Gorilla Villains? Gorilla Grodd, Muncio Mala, Ultra Humanite, The Gorilla Boss? The Gorilla Boss, an obscure Batman villain, is pretty similar to this guy, the mod Gorilla Boss. Gangster Gorillas, the both of them. The big difference is though, Batman's Gorilla Mobster is a human brain placed in the body of an actual gorilla, while Mod is a human temporarily transformed into a gorilla. Batman's Gorilla is more interesting as a character, but this guy looks way cooler visually. I love the look of the mod Gorilla Boss. A gorilla in a snazzy pinstriped suit. How can you not love that? It's so damn cool and funny looking. I also like the fact that he's really more blue than black or grey. Back in the day, blue was often used to substitute for black in comics, as black was difficult to use with the printing technology they had. So my guess is he's actually supposed to be black, but the blue makes him stand out even more and look more unique. He almost looks less like a gorilla and more like some hairy alien creature. So an alien gorilla man in a gangster suit. Simply awesome. Or the beast from X-Men in a gangster suit. But like I said, he's not that interesting as a character. There's nothing really to the mod gorilla boss, he's just a crook who found a way to transform himself into a gorilla. We don't even get a name. Now, there is room to flesh the character out. You could explore him, his backstory and motivations a lot more. Animal Man isn't exactly known for having a vast rogues gallery either, so it certainly wouldn't hurt to bring back the old mod boss. He's a fitting villain for A-Man too, considering their animal themes. It's a shame Grant Morrison didn't use his character when he revitalized Animal Man in the late 80s. This guy feels like he would have been right up Morrison's alley too, weird and bizarre. The gorilla's unique visual design alone should be reason enough to use him. If they do bring him back someday, I really hope it won't be just for some pointless cameo. We see a lot of that in modern times. Old obscure golden, silver and bronze age rogues suddenly popping up for one or two panels. I'm actually starting to find that a bit annoying. It serves no actual purpose and wastes the characters. So there you have it, that is the story of forgotten supervillain, the mod gorilla boss, a weird and cool character. So next month is October, Halloween, and to celebrate that, all of the forgotten villains I covered that entire month will be horror themed. I already have several lined up, but feel free to suggest more horror themed rogues in the comments. Anyway, as always, remember, Arkham Asylum awaits you in the next video.